Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Microsoft Fabric Master Program. So in today's session, we will talk about how to delete old files from the Lakehouse folder, which is very, very, very important uh, real time scenario. Let's quickly move on to the lab. So if you go to the data factory now, within the data factory, I have a storage which I created yesterday. I'll show you if you click on the storage, you can see in this I have a files under files. I created a global folder under that. I have outbox under that reporting. I have these files which I have uploaded yesterday. So in yesterday lab, if you remember, we created these folders and uploaded these particular files. Now what I'll do along with these files, I'll upload few more files now. Okay. I'll upload the few more files now. Let's upload few more files. Click on this. I'll be moving on to the cloud Pandit database here. I'll be just uploading multiple files. Okay. Let's upload multiple files. When I upload multiple files, you can see here. So now we let's find the yesterday files. So one, two, and the three. So these are the files which you have yesterday. So if you down, you can see 110, 110, 110. We have orders, uh, cast and EMP. So now what I want to do is I want to delete the files which came uh, yesterday till 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. For example, today date is okay. What is today date? So today date, if you see today date is 2024, 011, January 11th. Okay, this is the date. Now what I want to do, I want to keep only today files. Any other files that I have, I want to delete. Meaning the files that I have in this folder up to January 10th, 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. Till this particular time, whatever files I have, all those files I want to delete. Whatever files came after this particular timestamp. After this particular timestamp means it will become a 2024 uh, 0111. Okay, zero hours. Okay, zero minutes, zero seconds. Okay, so from this time onwards, whatever comes, so those particular files I want to take. These particular files I want to take. Let's start. So, what happens uh, if this is the use case if we apply now? These three files I should delete it for this. Let's start creating a pipeline. So let's go to here or let's go to my workspace here. I'll just click on new. I'll create a data pipeline. So pipeline name let it be okay. Just to create it. When you create the pipeline now we need to use the delete activity. Just go to activities. Click on this drop down. You will see delete activity. Just click on the delete activity. We got the delete activity. Now here we need to choose in workspace. I have a lake house called source lake house. Okay, I'll be choosing the source lake house. So wildcard file path because I want to delete all the files that I have in that folder which matches that particular time stuff. Go to global. Go to outbox. Go to reporting under reporting. I have a lot of files. All those files I want to delete. If you simply run it, it will delay everything. But I don't want to delete everything, right? I want to keep the files which are loaded today. But apart from today files, whatever files came yesterday files or day before yesterday files or January 1st files, last year files, two years back files, whatever files are there, everything I want to delete. That's why go to advanced. In the advanced, you can see end time. Here we need to generate the end time. So what is the formula that I'm going to use is this is the formula. Okay, this is the formula. What is this formula? First, let's understand here. First, I'll be using a UTC now. What is this UTC now? It gives the current date and time, but I'm taking only the date part from this UTC now function. Next, what is the use of format date time function? It is used to return format of the date. So I am taking it in a Y Y Y M M D T. If you just form it for today, it will become a 2024 01 January 11th is the date. Okay. Now, when you just look at this, what happens in this? UTC now is generating a today date. Within today date, I am taking this particular format, meaning it will become a 2024. Okay, 01 date is 11. 23 hours 59 minutes 59 seconds because time I am fixing it 
because i want to delete the files which came till the midnight right so that's why i am time i am fixing now what happens it is becoming a 2024011235959 so till this particular formula format date time it will give this particular date when you pass this date to the add days and if you give minus one day if you add to this particular date if you add a minus one day to this particular date it will become a 2024 okay 01 january 10th okay meaning yesterday 23 hours 59 minutes 59 seconds meaning except today files whatever files are there everything will be deleted so that's how this particular formula will work while watching the video if anybody have any doubt feel free to put your uh, questions in the comment section i'll answer that okay click add dynamic content you can just put this particular formula click ok now what happens max whatever files came before this particular timestamp those i want to delete now let's go to home okay one more thing in the logging settings currently i don't want to log the details which file is deleted so those file details and all i don't want to save it that's why i'm checking the unchecking the log logging setting option now you can just validate this particular activity configuration there is no errors we found now you can save these changes then we can run the pipeline how many files we are expected to delete we are expected to delete three files let's go and see whether delete activity is deleted three files or more than three files let's click on this delete activity okay one second Yeah, we can also see here it is still running okay yeah it is just completed right now you can also see in the output side okay what it is saying come down so files deleted is three how many files are deleted three files let's go to our storage account let's see the files which got deleted okay let's see the files which got deleted do you see anything here if you have any doubt you can refresh it okay you can click on this and see you, i don't see any files okay i am not able to uh, see any files which loaded yesterday which loaded yesterday okay so this is how you can able to delete a files based on particular timestamp you want to keep only last 10 days of the data and more than 10 days of data if you want to delete simply you need to put 10 so that it will become a 0 1 here right 20 24 0, 01 0, 01 23 15 and 59 uh, seconds meaning whatever data comes before january 1st only that particular data will be deleted but last 10 days data we are maintaining this is very very important real time scenario i request all of you to take time to understand this lab team very helpful okay so yeah that's it team if you have any questions uh, please feel free to put your questions in the comment section thank you for watching this video I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.